Hi guys, welcome to RPA Feed. In this video, I am going to walk you through the solution of Board Games Season 4 Challenge 1 that is also known as AI Healthcare Challenge. So this is uh, the challenge page and these are the instructions what are, uh, you are expected to do as part of this challenge. So yeah, uh, there is some uh, mailbox that you have to launch. Uh, let, let me launch that. If you, if you load this page and then you click on mailbox, this is a a mailbox where you get the unread emails you have to read all the unread emails basically uh, you have to click on the unread emails read the notes provided by the doctor and pass this whole information to chat gpt the ai uh, model and then uh, you have to extract the details which says doctor name patient weight all these parameters which are listed uh, from that uh, from that email email from that email content and then uh, you have to add that details of all the patients once you are done with adding all the details for example here there were six unread emails so six time, uh, six patient details you have to read and then at, at last you have to submit so that's the challenge basically so let's uh, let me walk you through the solutioning so i have uh, uh, used step error handler and all other packages which i'll be showing you so first step is to launch the browser you need to launch the browser first uh, the challenge page and from that challenge page we need to click on the button which will open the mailbox once we open the mailbox the next step is next step is to loop uh, so this is currently i have hard coded provided there were only 10 items in the email so that's where i have hard coded it but you uh, we can figure this figure out this number dynamically as well and then after that what we have to do is we have to capture the inner text of read and unread data so let me pull this url once again in side by side and what we have to do is of the mailbox so in this mailbox so we have to only read the content of unread emails so how we determine that using this property so we have we are checking that uh, over here so if if that property is uh, the email list for space i of the of this tomex uh, id this element we are we are capturing the fifth element uh, so span of five right we are capturing this value basically and this uh, det for determining the status of the email whether it is read or unread so once it's unread then only we will click on this email and read the content of that email otherwise we'll ignore it right so that's what uh, we are doing here so if email status is equal to unread then we are further capture clicking on the uh, on this item right on this we are clicking and it, it is taking to, uh, us to the doctor notes for me i was facing some issue while capturing this uh, uh, while capturing these doctor notes via the recorder capture command so i have used here uh, browser uh, uh, javascript uh, in browser so i'm running this document dot get element by id email container and inner text so uh, i'm just reading that data via this uh, javascript okay and then storing it in the doctor's note once after that i am clicking on the back button so once we are done reading all the text we are good to click on back button and uh, and then i'm passing that information whatever i have read right i'm passing that information to chat gpt model for passing that chat gpt model i have pre uh, the pretext right uh, i have configured it i have hard coded it uh, so this can also come from a config file if you want to try it out with multiple prompts uh, to increase your accuracy or something like that so that's that's what i have used here as a prompt analyze the below doctor notes and extract the following key value as a patient name doctor name diagnosis medicines prescribed so whatever it is uh, whatever data i need right from that text i want chat gpt to give that data from that uh, email content so I'm, i've just uh, mentioned that in a prompt and I have also specified that I need data in a JSON format. In this JSON format, I need so patient name, doctor name, diagnosis, medicine prescribed, blood pressure, weight, weight, blah, blah, blah. So in this format, I need to uh, get the data from chat GPT. So I have, uh, this is my prompt basically. And along with that, I'm passing the doctor's note. So whatever the, uh, the text is, right, the pretext uh, analyze the below doc uh, doctor notes, that, that, is my, that is a part of my prompt along with the uh, the whole uh, uh, notes that were provided by the doctor so this is how i'm uh, configuring uh, my open ai uh, package so the api key i'm currently using it in ins as an insecure string but it's 
uh, we should go with a credential or a variableized option. In case you do not know how to use ChatGPT3 uh, package, you can comment down below. I'll create a video on, on this as well, explaining each and every component of it. So after this, I'm extracting like whatever JSON this ChatGPT3 will, uh, this GPT3 uh, will return, right? So uh, this I'm storing in patient details result variable. And then uh, we are sure that it's going to return a JSON object. Then I need to extract uh, the information from that JSON object. For that, I'm using JSON object manager. And this is how I initialize it. And then after that, we are extracting the information. So in our JSON, uh, whatever key was mentioned, right? All the keys we are specifying here and storing those value in a string variable. So for patient name, I'm storing in patient name, doctor name, I'm storing as a doctor name. Similarly, like all the eight or nine, whatever parameters we are requesting for all of them, I'm, I'm doing the same process. So once this is done, right, extract the data is extracted from JSON object, then there are, we need to add that data, for example, uh, now what we have to do, we have to go here and add all that details uh, for the uh, the patient details, right? We have to add them. So that's what we are doing here. The doctor name, patient weight, height, blood pressure, everything is straightforward. So we are, st we are simply adding them as is. The only catch here is uh, if medicine is prescribed or not. If it is prescribed, then we have to check this and enter all the medicines which were prescribed. If it one medicine is prescribed, then only one time we need to enter here. If there are three medicines, then we have to enter one, two, and three. If there are only two, then two. And if there are none, then we do not need to enter anything. So that's what medicine prescription logic, which I have written here. So what it says is, uh, if if medicine prescribed text, a variable contains, uh, is not equal to none and uh, is not blank, then only I'm going ahead with the further operation. If it is none or blank, so that means uh, medicine is not prescribed and we are going and unchecking the checkbox. So this is uh, uh, the if else logic part where I need to, uh, what I need to do is suppose there are two or three medicines, right? If uh, I need to enter first here, second here and third here. So I, I am taking that value, uh, I'm, I'm splitting that variable value into a list variable depending on the how many number of uh, medicines are there. So that's what this logic is. So if uh, it contains a and and uh, comma, then I'm basically replacing and first and then uh, using the delimiter, delimiter comma, I'm, I'm splitting the values into a list variable. Okay. And then uh, I'm trimming out uh, the extra spaces uh, from the medicine name and then I'm setting that value to the, to the uh, to the current uh, record to the to the record which is mentioned here like the text box similarly for if medicine prescribed includes and and it does not includes comma then in that case also i'm doing the same operation it's just how you need to split the values uh, it's it's for that only so there were four scenarios basically if it includes and and also includes comma if it includes and but does not includes comma, if it includes comma but does not includes and, and, and the else part. If it does not satisfy all the three conditions, then else part. So in this else part, what we are doing is, if there is a single medicine name, so this will execute, okay? I hope this is clear. In case you have any doubt, please comment, I will clarify. And then after uh, after doing all these kind of operations, uh, what we are doing is we are clicking on add button to add the patient information. So this will keep on repeating as it's part of a loop. Once everything is done, all the patient details are added, then finally we'll be clicking on the submit button. And if there are no errors, our execution will be successful. So let me run this bot so that uh, you can uh, see how bot is executing. So it has launched the challenge page and from there it will click on email and it had opened the email. There are six unread emails. It will read them one by one. It Remember, it won't read the mail that are marked as read already. So it will only read the un unread emails and it will grab the content, pass on to chat GPT and uh, sorry, GPT-3 and then it will extract the JSON data and fill all the information, the patient information, right? It is just filling all the information. So we are just left with two unread emails. It should be done in a while. I mean, that's a final record which bot is processing now. And we have clicked on submit. So the whole process took uh, approximately around 57 seconds and we have completed the challenge. So thanks guys for staying uh, until now. In case you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. 
and share it with your friends thanks for watching